gif say what is the role of women in tariqat what do we do what should we behave in association and also when it comes to taking advice from Shay, specifically what should we ask him about <laughs> what is the role of women to be women To be mothers, to be sisters. You know what that is? I'm going to ask you that question. If you don't know, find out what a Muslim woman should be. Because these days, so many people, they have the wrong idea. So many people, they have the wrong idea. And they got mixed up with the idea too. They're putting feminism into Islam. But no, to be a woman, to be a Muslim woman, to be a Muslim wife, to be a Muslim mother, to be a Muslim sister. These roles are very specific. And if you hold on to the way that the Holy Prophet has brought and taught us the roles and our responsibilities as men and women and not to mix them up, you'll find safety. Otherwise, you're not going to find safety. People are mixing it up, saying women can lead the prayers. Women can lead the zikr with a man. Women can do this. Women can do that. Women can whirl. All this is wrong. Because Holy Prophet did not bring that. Allah did not bring that. Only in these times. Because of the weakness. Because Islam is not ruling. So even those ones who are following tariqah like this, like that, they are free to interpret and do whatever that they want. But no. Find a role model. Who is going to be your role model? Look at the wives of the Holy Prophet. Look at the holy daughter of the Holy Prophet. The wife of Hazrat Ali. Look at the Sahabi Kiram who are women. Look at their lives. Then you'll understand. Yes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created woman for the man and he created man for himself when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam alayhi salam and Adam alayhi salam fell uh, Adam alayhi salam was in the paradises but even when he sees everything that Allah has created the most beautiful that we cannot even imagine he could not find peace he could not find satisfaction and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make him to go to sleep. And from his rib, this crooked rib, the smallest one, Allah created someone like him. Hawana, our mother. So, for the women, yes. Holy Prophet is saying. <laughs> so many imams, they're hiding this. You may not like this. So what? I don't care. You ask me. You may not like it, don't like it, leave it, I'm going to take it. But this is what Shah Effendi is saying. And this is what Holy Prophet is saying, this is what Sultan al is saying. So many Imams, they don't like to say this, they, don't like, to, they like to hide this. And they say this is not PC, this is not politically correct, we're going to scare away people. I don't care. You're going to scare away people, people who are not looking for truth, you're going to scare them away. Very good. People are looking for truth, something is going to pull them, they're going to understand. Holy Prophet Shaf and he is repeating this hadith so many times. He's saying to make sajda from man to a man, it is forbidden. Okay? And that's another different thing. But if Allah was going to make it halal for someone to make sajda to another person, it is a wife to the husband. You're understanding what it means to make sajda to your husband? And at that moment, the women sahabi that were in the sohbat of the Prophet, they got up and they make sajda to their husbands. So what is the role of women? Of course, now, this is not meaning the husband can do whatever he wants. Husband is going to go according to what Holy Prophet is saying too. According to what 
the teachings have come down. This is not a free for all. That's why if you were in Tariqat, first we understand what the parameters are, what the structure is, then you're going to work within that. You're not going to take off, bite off more than you can chew. Okay? So, the Shah then will guide a person slowly to that situation where he'll be able to submit to the Shah, he'll be able to submit to the husband, we'll be able to submit to Holy Prophet, we'll be able to submit to Allah, step by step. Allah is going to address the husband on the day of judgment, not the wife. Allah is going to address the husband, not the wife, not the women, the husband. Allah is going to ask the husband, are you happy with this one? If the husband says yes, Allah is going to say, angels take this woman and bring her to paradise. She can enter through any door that she wants. She is not questioned for nothing. Are we understanding now? So what are women chasing these days to be? To be like a man? To carry these responsibilities where it's not even given to her? Man will stay. We're going to start one by one all the questions. So, lost traditions. Don't worry, Mahdi is going to bring this back to is not going to bring weakness and these kind of things like what we're seeing. Okay? That's it. Okay, last question. <laughs>